Ahoy Hoy. Uh, earlier this year, or was it last year? God, this has been a terrible year, so I can't remember if it was this year or at the end of last year. But regardless, there's been a legal case ongoing in Russia based on the uh, SCP Wiki's trademark. I did a whole video on all of the uh, details of the legal case back then. But the... And the GoFundMe managed to make like $164,000. I think it's still open, actually. Well, you know what? I can check. I've got this page open right now. It is it's still open right now, actually. Although it looks like the last donation was four months ago. So, kind of slowed down a little bit. Anyway, made $164,095 out of a $50,000 goal to basically bring a legal case in Russia against Andre Duxon. Uh, for the purposes of fixing this thing, there was a, a long story short, he trade, yeah, he trademarked the SCP logo and then started using that to essentially intimidate other people into paying him money whenever they wanted to sell SCP merchandise inside Russia. So the SCP foundation decided to, as I said, form a legal case, um, on October 18th, which was a little while ago, but I was on break at the time. <laughs> on October 18th, uh, there was an update on the GoFundMe page. Great news, everyone. The Russian Federal Anti-Monopoly Service has ruled that Dutson has violated Article 14.8 of the Russian Federal Law on Business Competition, and he has until November 10th to rectify his violation or face penalties. Due to Russian privacy law, we the plaintiffs don't know exactly what violation he committed and will not know until it is made public on November 10th. It is our hope that he was ordered to dissolve the trademark as that was our main request to the committee, but it is too early to fully celebrate since it's possible that they cited him with a different violation at this time. Regardless, this is a huge step forward in the case and we owe everyone who contributed and shared our fundraiser a huge debt of thanks for making this possible. Thank you all so very much. So, okay. I actually bothered to look up Russian federal law on business competition and to find exactly what Article 14.8 is. Unfortunately, uh, so uh, Chapter 2.1, it's in Chapter 2.1 under unfair competition. Um and the articles in this chapter are all about, uh, well, unfair competition, doing something to uh, make your co make business competition unfair, for lack of a better way to put it. And uh, I've looked through it in 14.1, 14.2, let's scroll down, 14.8. 14 the interesting part is 14.8 is a catch-all. It's uh, Article 14.8, Prohibition of Other Forms of Unfair Competition other forms of unfair competition along with those specified in articles 14.1 to 14.7 of the federal law of of the federal law on protection of competition are prohibited this is um yeah this is as i said it's a catch-all in case it was un first of all it's a catch-all in case it was unclear legalese is uh, complicated and not something i want to get into because i'm not a lawyer but in this case, it's like, in case we messed up anywhere above, or if we left something out that seems clearly like it's unfair competition, um, that's also prohibited. Because everything above it is literally an itemized, like, exacting, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, you cannot do this. Problem is, uh, there are, let me just look here. So, Article 14.6, if he had violated Article 14.6... That is unfair competition related to confusion. Uh, so <clears throat> unfair competition through actions or omissions by an economic entity that meant, I know this is, this is great stuff, but this is the SCP Foundation's like, this. it's funny when it comes down to it that this legal stuff is important to what's going on at the SCP Foundation. Uh, and I, me, a non-lawyer, has to do his best to interpret it. What exactly they're trying to talk about? But yeah, if it if he'd been found in violation of fourteen point six, it's um, unfair competition through actions or omissions by an economic entity that may cause confusion with operation of a competitor or the goods or services put into civil circulation in the, uh, 
in the Russian Federation by the competitor is prohibited, including unlawful use of notations identical with a trademark. I think this is uh, this is sort of the opposite of what he did. This is the other side of what he did. So maybe that wouldn't technically count. Unlawful use of notations identical with a trademark brand name, commercial designation, so on. So it's the whole bunch of stuff. But that's the opposite of what he did. So he, which it sounds like it's just what he did, but he would actually be trying to enforce 14.6 on other people instead of the other way around because he technically owns the trademark. Or at least he properly. Yeah. Um, hmm. Not that one. Not that one. Inappropriate comparison? No. Unfair by means of misleading? Yeah, that one could have been in there. But the interesting part is that, like, because of the way Russian federal law and privacy law works, they don't have, if he, say, for example, he violated Article 14.2, they don't have to say that he are, that would be very specific about what he has violated. Uh, they don't actually have to say that because 14.8 is a catch-all. So if they say you violated 14.8, which is other forms of unfair competition along with those specified in Articles 14.1 through 14.7, then if he violated, say, 14.2, they could say he violated 14.8 without specifying and allow for the privacy of the, uh, of the defendant in this particular case. Uh, which is an interesting way to handle it, and maybe their standard. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't want to get too far into the weeds on this. This isn't going to be a particularly long video. I just wanted to give you guys the proper update. Uh, the SCP Foundation has been working pretty hard on this uh, for a little while now, and though I may have differences of opinion with the administration, um, this is incredibly important to make sure that the SCP Foundation stays, first of all, Creative Commons, and second of all, as Creative Commons, free, and uh, the, give people the ability to continue to work on it. Not just to work on it, but to work on, you know, merchandise, or videos, or uh, video games, or movies, short films, the stuff that everybody wants to see more of, which we probably won't see a lot of films, but you know, that is how it is. Anyway... Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I did it again. Hold on. Let's go over to the Patreon page. I did this last video. I'm like, I can remember everything, but I just woke up, which you can probably tell. Just like last time around. Uh, yeah, I gotta go to the Patreon page, order it. Come on, load already. You know you want to. Uh, and join Dr. J Redacted uh, and Sinjariki, who have both pledged $100, and Morgan, who's pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.